For this video, I'm going to take you on a hotel tour of the Executive Economy Lodge located in Pompano Beach, Florida. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you've probably heard me mention that I really don't like producing negative reviews, but this one's tough. Before I get started, I do want to say that I had a lot of um, pleasant experiences talking to the staff and the manager here at the hotel. When I produce these videos, it's never my intent to hurt anybody's business, but um, at the end of the day, I feel like I have to at least be honest about what I've experienced. Um, just uh, to maintain the credibility of the travel reviews. Last month I went on a cruise that left from Fort Lauderdale, so I needed a hotel to stay at, and I kind of booked this one last minute. As a result of that, I spent $140 a night for what you're looking at right now. And looking at the footage, you're probably starting to think, it's not worth that much, and you would be right. This is a really old, family-owned hotel. If I had to guess, it was probably built in the 1950s or 60s. The exterior maintenance is pretty rough. You can see peeling paint everywhere, um, lots of mildew, cracks in the stucco. I mean, just anything you, you could possibly imagine. And I remember, you know, staying on the third floor of this hotel, and I had trouble sleeping at night because I just kept seeing that Surfside building collapsing in South Florida. And if there's another building that's about to collapse, it, it might be this hotel. The craziest part about this Executive Economy Lodge is it's in a beautiful community. I mean, this is the upscale side of Pompano Beach. We're right here on the water. Um, we're only a couple thousand feet from the Atlantic Ocean. I mean, this land it's sitting on is definitely worth more than the hotel itself. So I've now produced about 25 different hotel reviews for this particular channel. And I gotta say this, this is the roughest hotel I've ever stayed in probably by Country Mile. Even the Saralago is probably better maintained than this, and that was the previous worst. If you look around this place, it's just, it just shows its age. I mean, 40, 50, 60 years old, probably. You know, there's there's a bunch of um, holes in the walls. The, uh, the air conditioner is really loud and noisy. Uh, the beds are sagging and just not very firm at all. There are cockroaches that were scurrying outside the cracks of the, the shower stall when you turn on the water. I think the uh, the red carpeting in throughout the uh, the room was probably that, you know, thin patio carpeting. I don't even think it's real, like, interior carpeting. The furniture is like 40 or 50 years old. You can actually see the drill holes for the old uh, plates for bolting a CRT TV to the... Uh, the dresser so you can tell this uh, furniture is like 40 years old because of the the marks from the old CRT TVs I mean the pool was clean but the pool deck was all cracked and probably a trip hazard because of all the uneven pavement so it's remarkable because you know the hotel is so rough and then you look around and you see you know all these private boat docks and half a million dollar houses surrounding this hotel it's just it's just weird normally hotels that look like this I would say that um, you know, they, they could just be renovated and updated, but I don't know. I, I think that uh, the layout of this hotel is just so dated. You know, you'll notice that the, the bathroom is really awkward. Like, the vanity is just, like, out in the middle of nowhere. And then you walk inside, and you have the standard toilet and uh, shower stall. But um, it's just a very weird layout just because of its age, I think. Um, the ergonomics of a hotel room really weren't worked out when this, uh, when this hotel was built, I think, in the 50s. I will say that um, one of the perks of this hotel is it is um, connected to a pretty good Italian restaurant. So if you're looking for a slice of pizza or room service, uh, that's one of the few things this hotel did get right. The night I stayed here, uh, the, uh, the other residents in the hotel were very quiet. So I didn't have trouble sleeping because of noisy like neighbors. It's just the uneasiness of the creaking building kind of kind of freaked me out a little bit. I did also have some pretty nice conversations with some of the other hotel guests and we were just kind of hanging out on the pool deck. But it, this is probably a good time to point out that there really aren't any amenities besides the swimming pool. You know, it's just the swimming pool. It's a, a one-star type of resort hotel, motel in South Florida. You're not going to find an arcade or an exercise room or meeting room, conference rooms, anything like that. Um, 
100% of the space is used for the parking lot, and then they squeezed in the, the swimming pool, and it is probably one of the smallest sm swimming pool areas that I've ever seen in a hotel, but again, you know, they're right here on the water, they didn't have a lot of land, so they just kind of uh, crammed it in. It's only about 20 feet across the entire pool deck, and then that's including the, the patio with the pool, so it's pretty tight. Now it's time to get to my bottom line. I don't think this hotel would meet the vast majority of travelers' expectations. I just think that the uh, the level of maintenance is below almost everybody's standards. So I'm going to actually rate this a 3 out of 10, with uh, 10 being the best. I rated the uh, Saralago a 4 out of 10, and that seems pretty accurate compared to this. Because at least, um, you know, the maintenance was about the same, but at least there were some amenities there. Uh, they had the arcade, they had um, on-site food, they had... Um, a free shuttle to Disney World and Universal Studios, so there were definitely uh, advantages to the Saralago over um, this particular hotel. Now let's uh, let it sink in that uh, the room rate at the Saralago is forty dollars, and the room rate here at the uh, Executive Economy was one hundred and forty dollars. I I just can't see any circumstance where I'd ever feel comfortable recommending this hotel to anyone. Thanks for joining me on this tour of the Executive Economy Lodge. If you enjoyed this episode of The Adventure Schmuck, don't forget to like and subscribe.